A St. John's County school bus aide accused of inappropriately touching a teen with disabilities has had complaints of inappropriate conduct before. That's according to Dean Heaton's personnel file that actually Jack's got our hands on today. He's now charged with sexual battery and 21 charges of lewd and lascivious behavior. Action News Jack's Robert Grant joins us live in the studio. And Robert, you've been digging through Dean Heaton's employment history with the St. John's County School District. It's been more than 80 pages here, and I found at least three other times he was reprimanded for inappropriate conduct dating back to 2017, yet he stayed with the district until just now. He started as a St. John's school bus driver back in 2013. Then March 2017, an employee accused him of inappropriately hugging and kissing her in front of students. He was told to avoid contact. Then in May 2018, the 67 year old was suspended with pay after parents and students complained he was flirting and touching female students. He was told to improve his professional conduct. Lastly, in December 2019, Heaton was accused of bullying, intimidating and demeaning a disabled student. According to a memorandum, surveillance video showed children crying out of fear. He was giving more training. Heaton became a bus aide in April last year from a bus driver that he was previously serving as. And Action News Jax told you just last week in this most recent incident, an arrest report shows investigators found 21 security video clips from his bus where he is seen interacting with and touching a 15 year old. Action News Jax on safety expert Dale Carson, a criminal defense lawyer, says those videos could be crucial to the investigation. It determines ultimately that the individual was engaging in that activity and behaved in certain frames as though he was engaging in that lewd activity. And Superintendent Tim Forson hand delivered a termination letter to Heaton at the jail where he's being held on a $520,000 bond. With local coverage you can count on in the studio, I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jax.